Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's Rugby Championship Round 5 Review. What a weekend. A three-point victory for New Zealand, a one-point victory for Argentina and probably one of the best rugby championships we've ever had. It is going to go down to the last weekend. It's going to go down to the last match in fact with a Sunday being a bit of a I mean, Saturday rather being a bit of a final in Mombela. Although to be honest, you know, South Africa basically is one point out of the game. Uh, whereas Argentina will basically have to go and beat South Africa with a bonus point, stop them from getting points, and that's how they can win the rugby championship. But the fact is, mathematically, they can still win the rugby championship, um, which which is going to be quite interesting, uh, given the fact that uh, they've never um, won a rugby championship and have never really been in the contention to win a rugby championship, for example. This could be the very first time either the right results go past. But I think the Argentina could come second, for example. So it's a massive improvement for Los Pumas, who under Felipe Contiponi, I think are going to become a really, really good side. And we saw that this weekend with that loss um, you know, at the hands of the box, this, you know, uh, where they had to win. The box didn't play particularly well. And obviously, you know, the last, the latest the penalty that missed and stuff like that. But the fact of the matter is, you know, a, a Springbok side, which have not been seeing a lot of tries this year, can see the tries against Argentina. And that's really, really positive for Los Pumas. Um, so before we look at the, the sort of the table and, and some of the stats from this weekend, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, let's go have a look, shall we, at uh, the Australia versus New Zealand side. At the Bristol Cup, uh, won by New Zealand this weekend. Uh, or retained, rather. I think they're going to probably relook at the format, to be honest. Make it either, you know, a three-match series or, you know, a one-off match, for example. And uh, winner takes all type of thing. It's a bit similar to the Freedom Show. It'd be funny how that, that conversation hasn't really happened with that regard. But, you know, it's, it's for such a big competition, uh, such an important trophy, for example, it's becoming far too uh, difficult to try and sort of win it outright after, you know, win two games in a row, for example, and stuff like that, one home, one away. And once you've got that trophy, then it becomes uh, much easier to retain. Uh, but I think the main thing for Australia is that they stood up this weekend, you know, 28 points to 31. Once again, that last of 20 minutes continued to be a massive, massive issue for the All Blacks. Uh, so four tries apiece, very similar meters gained, uh, more carries from an All Blacks perspective, more defenders beat, and as well as more clean breaks, um, passing more more offloads, and, uh, but also more turns conceded, interestingly enough. Um, you know, from a defensive point of view, Australia probably missed too many tackles. Uh, you know, 35 missed tackles always going to hurt you, for example, but um, we're pretty good at the break time. Faisal McWright, you know, when he plays, he, he's a really, really strong player. Unfortunately, he has been injured for a lot of the, uh, the rugby championship. But uh, the the breakdown, for example, was pretty well contested overall. Um, but I thought that Australia sometimes just didn't look after their ball well enough, which New Zealand did a lot, a lot better. Uh, set pieces as well. Australia, you know, that line is a problem. And if you set pieces aren't, functioning at the absolute optimum, it always becomes difficult to beat sides. So similarly, sort of their discipline um, slightly worse than New Zealand. But the fact of the matter is there wasn't a lot between the two sides. And if you look at some big performances, uh, for example, Rod looked really good with ball in hand, always looks very exciting. I thought that we saw a lot more from Hunter, uh, Basami and Lin Iketal towards the latter stages of the game. Big game from Fraser McGrath. Portina Tupo in the loose looked a lot better. And... Uh, you look at New Zealand, for example, Will Jordan, very active with ball in hand. Still questions being asked about Damian McKenzie, for example. And the main thing from a New Zealand perspective is just this bench. The fact that they're just not getting any sort of knock-on effect when it comes to the 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 the, uh, the bench. You know, they're just not, you know, responding. They're not they're not coming on and, and having any sort of impact. And and that's a very worrying thing because you look at sort of what's happening over here, the you know, two yellow cards. Um, and the fact is, you know, the last time they scored points was uh, in about the 50th minute, I think it was. So that's a big problem for New Zealand. Something they're going to have to be a lot better this weekend. They will be in New Zealand. Obviously, that makes things a little bit easier. But uh, we then look at uh, South Africa versus Argentina. Now, South Africa racing off to a 17-0 lead within about 12, 15 minutes. But then um, just conceding points for fun, to be honest. Three tries unanswered. Um, four tries, sorry, unanswered before a final try before the half-time. And then a very strange... Uh, second half, where South Africa did offload the bench and kind of brought in that bomb score, but didn't really have the desired effect. We were doing very well scrum-wise throughout the game, you know, dominated that scrum, but couldn't really make a count. And being out of by Argentina, actually, uh, which is an interesting thing. So, a lot of meters gained, a lot of carries, for example. You know, both teams pretty positive with ball in hand. I think defensively, this would be a worry for, for Jerry Flannery in terms of that 26 tackles missed 
of 73 when you think that Argentina missed fewer tackles despite being asked to make more than double the number of tackles. And I think that'll be a worrying thing. Obviously, it is a defensive system, you know, as he inherited from Joaquin Obaz now imposing a sort of his own sort of flair to it. And um, that's always going to be a, a, a stat, which is going to not always tell the real story because it is a rush defense. You know, it is all about stopping the momentum, making the hits, for example, not necessarily just about letting them come at you, making the tackles over and over again, where you can kind of be 100% tackle success rate, you can see two or three more tries, for example, and uh, all of a sudden, you know, you've lost the game. So it is a bit of a different defensive system with regards to that. But um, breakdown work generally ball attention pretty good from a South perspective. Um, uh, didn't really see too many steals. I think that was also a problem. I think from a breakdown point of view, I would love to see South Africa being a bit more competitive at the breakdown uh, you know, turn a ball, for example, something that, uh, you know, we could we could really use. Uh, the scrums, I mean, this doesn't really tell the story, if you're honest, if you look at uh, the, the 70% versus 80%, because we were the better scrum. There's no doubt about that. One penalties there as well, um, and um, looked really good. The one yellow card was a massive part of it. You go and look at over here, yellow card over there, and uh, two tries conceded during that time. 12 points, I think it was in total. So it definitely, definitely did hurt us. So if we go into the last weekend, this is how the points table is looking. So South Africa's 19 points. Uh, obviously, they can get a maximum of 19. So South Africa gets a single point this weekend, and uh, they will win the rugby championship. Uh, if we look at points four, for example, obviously they scored the most points this, this rugby championship so far, followed by New Zealand. And then South Africa, the big thing about South Africa is the defense has been so good. And, uh, you know, this past weekend, conceding, what, 29 points, um, that's, I think, it's actually the most points we've actually conceded this, this rugby championship. So, of those 87, 27, 29 coming from just this weekend. Uh, also scored uh, the same amount of times as New Zealand, fewer than obviously they obviously had that record defeat against Australia. And uh, we collected three bonus points throughout the competition, as has New Zealand. So you don't expect you know us to lose the rugby championship. You look at the form guide, for example, and this is a bit frustrating. I think we could have gone the, the entire way without losing it. Uh, interestingly enough, for example, you look at some of the the, some of the stats, boys, and uh, our defence has been from a tackles one percentage the worst in the rugby championship. Defenders beaten, or sitting at second. Uh, if you look at clean breaks. Sitting in second as well, right, uh, right just behind you. So that's a nice sort of uh, part. This for me is a big worry. The fact that our lineup percentage has been, you know, about 85%, much lower than New Zealand, lower than Australia, uh, slightly better than Argentina. We've got to get a better line out going at the moment because it's just not really uh, good enough. Uh, also, annoyingly, is we've got the most yellow cards for the rugby championship. Now, this is an area we were so good in the World Cup. In fact, we went the entire group stage without receiving a single card. And uh, so the discipline needs to improve from a South African perspective. Uh, I don't think there's any time to panic. I think we will win the rugby championship this weekend, but where do you want to see improvement? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.